<laughs> Bro, ain't no way. This was from the one one free scroll a day you get from the uh the, the pack thing. Wait, 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 wait. It was from this scroll. <laughs> I've been chasing her for so long. Wow, dude. Wow, I can't believe it. But today, we're not only playing with Iris, but I also have a new special toy, the Fire Hacker. So let's jump right into it. Starting off with the Fire Hacker, I'm using a Vio build. This is a support unit. We are going in with speed, HP, and accuracy. He's not max skill yet, but you cannot improve the strip in skill 3. So I'm trying to test out the strip to see if it's going to be consistent or not with the AoE attack here. So speed, HP, accuracy. This unit awakened into resistance. This is a message to come to us. How does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> a debuff monster that requires so much accuracy awaken into resistance. In four months, I better see this unit awaken into speed. I swear. Follow up after the fire hacker, we have Sierra for bomb damage and we have Rika for dot damage. Enemy has no speed lead, no water element, so Rika is gonna be perfect. Okay, virus. Here we go. Not bad. We landed all three strip and we land some debuff as well. We got buff block, defense break, and slow debuff. Very, very good buff overall. I mean, very good debuff. We're gonna bomb the... Hmm. Let's bomb the Sarian. Because the Sarian will go straight for my CR with very, very big damage. And I don't want that to happen. We take some attack bar as well. And we're gonna drop some more damage onto the Reviver. And drop some dot. This will take care of the Thessarian. And she's gonna use one turn to get the revive done. And this guy has no real damage without the... Wow, that was some good damage right there. We're gonna drop a bomb on the reviver because she's gonna get in a turn really quickly with a skill 2. And we're going to try to strip the Sarian. Oh my god, 50%? Are you sure about that? <laughs> the strip is kind of good. Okay, my CR is gonna take some damage from the Sarian. Not gonna be a problem. We're gonna try to put some branding over there. Not too bad. And ooh, I love Biorica, baby. We have one more bomb, and that's gonna be four to the Sar. Never mind, not happening yet. But we can keep doing damage on the Thessarian. Okay, goodbye Sierra, but goodbye everything else. And the dot damage shall take care of the Window Kaby Lord as well. He's very good against one shot damage, but against dot damage, he is not as good. Round two, we have a light tank for the dark unit over there. We have a bomber to do damage on all of them. And we have another layer of bomb from Shizuka. I'm gonna put bomb damage in the artifact so that she can do even more bomb damage and that should be exciting. Here we go. Okay. So most of them will take care of Kinky. So they're gonna eat the revenge despair stun for my Kinky. And that's gonna be amazing. Come on, come on. All right, we got some defense break. I am going to not do anything important just yet. We are going to attempt to despair stun. We got one good despair stun. I'm gonna bomb them round one. Okay, he also got some dispersion against me. Fair and swear. Fair and despair. Oh, oh my oh my goodness. I'm gonna drop a second layer of bomb over there. Oh my god, the first layer already did some so much damage. We're gonna re reset the bomb cool time. It is reset the bomb cool times. Oh also, recently I got very bad like ulcer in my mouth. So you might you might think I'm talking very weirdly, but I'm trying. Okay, it hurts whenever I open, I open my mouth to do anything. Okay, eating, talking, sucking, it all hurts. And I can't do anything about it. Round three, we have Adriana, who's going to buff our team. I'm going to use my Eliza to one-shot the Dark Demon. And we're going to use Iris to provide the silence and the stun on the Savannah. Anyway, we're going to buff with attack and speed buff. Even though Eliza is on a crit rate build, Dark Demon shouldn't be very tanky. And... We do more damage at full HP. So here we go. Okay, we're fucked. Anyway, I am going to silence the Savannah. So no speed buff just yet. And nothing crazy is happening. Oh my goodness. You can't oblivion the Dark Demon. That's what I learned because the passive activate when he's in the ground. So when you oblivion, he's above ground. And when you kill him and then he go underground... It, it doesn't do anything to him, which is kind of funny. Okay, that's a very good despair stun, dude. I, I want Iris for the longest time, okay? She used to be the best unit in the game for Gil and RTA. But now she is she's nothing. She's just kind of okay. She's whatever. 
I'm so sad, you know. I got her when when she's already old and irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I underestimated G3 Gyo Dark Demon Tankiness. I, I got absolutely bamboozled. Round four, I kind of miss using copper, and I saw one of my guildy use copper recently. So we are going in with copper on the vile bill defense, quick damage defense. We have immensity for the buff, and we have Leo for the defense leader. To be honest, that enemy team over there, Leo can solo all of them. All right, we're gonna go for this battle. This one should be fairly easy because what what are they going to do to me? Absolutely nothing. We're gonna now speed, boost my unit attack bar, and send that thing home with a bonk on the face. That that was so much damage. That was way more damage than you need to. I'm gonna do some damage with skill two as well, and another round of bonking. Here we go, bonk. <laughs> 20k man i really want iris to to work but unless you have sylvia in 2024 i think iris is kind of old and irrelevant she's not good in any offense or any defense whatsoever unless you own a sylvia and she'll become like an okay okay not even good just okay defense because they nerfed her strip back in the day when she was really good. Anyway, round five. Round five, we're gonna have a water tank for the bomb damage. We're gonna have a wind tank for the fire damage from the other side. And we're gonna have Dong Baek because I like I like some music when when I do my battle, okay? She's like, is there an anime where the background this there's, there's a person just doing background music for the battle? I have no idea. But Dong is gonna be playing some background music to make them weaker. And we're going to be seeing some Ramagos action today. If Ramagos win, I'm going to buy the skin later. Because we've got a new skin for the Warbear and they look kind of good. She was really good back in the day, so they nerfed her. And and she, they never unnerved her, unfortunately. Okay, so what do we do here? I'm going to focus on the Ciara first. And they will slowly die to my, to my Dong Big damage. Would they ever hit my Ramagos hard enough for me to care? Because I have a healing, a little bit of healing from Camilla. And we might land attack break on the Perna. And the Perna has destroyed rune, which means it is slowly taking my Ramagos damage away. So you know what? Maybe Ramagos is not exactly the best idea. Maybe, but if I kill Ramagos, if I kill Perna, nobody will ever hit Ramagos, which means. I will never get the chance to do the damage. And the more my Camilla move, the the more I heal the Ramagos. Okay, I'm at a dilemma. <laughs> I'm at a very, very huge dilemma because they will never kill me and it will never kill them. Like, how do I kill them? This is a problem. This is going to be the longest battle ever because they will never make my Dongbaek move, right? I have... Low debuff. Is she still playing the song? I have no idea. She's still playing the song, right? So she will never move because of the slow debuff from the Camilla on the enemy team. And my Ramagos will never be hurt enough to, to make a dent in the skill 3. And they are just slowly destroying my HP. Just like I'm slowly destroying his HP. So what the hell do I do? What is the best way to win this? I can't really kill anyone. My master plan is ruined. <laughs> oh my god how how do i i need my don't be actually hurt me because look at the perna she has attack break which means the damage will be terrible so so the perna will never hurt me i need the perna to hurt me but it's not actually doing it but i'm gonna auto and this frame gonna see is gonna be a fast forward to me winning i'm not too sure what's gonna happen but I'm just gonna let it go for a while. Yay! This is the worst idea ever. Why am I doing this? He has two healers. Oh, I'm so dumb. I don't even have destroyed my Ramagos. I do. I only have destroyed my Camilla. Can you die? Thank you. This is worse than watching paint dry. This is like watching filler episode of One Piece or whatever. When is going to be the good part? When are we finding the bad guy? All right. With the final boss but it's still not ending yet i used to think siege gameplay is like this but it's actually not like this it is a bit more exciting i used to think this is every siege battle to win you have to do this but you don't have to do this all the time there's so many snipe team cleave team nowadays in siege that it is so much more exciting to play siege when you can win quicker and more fun 
this is not it. There are some team that works like this, right? But this is not all the time. <laughs> the draw button showed up, baby. Quick question: How many turns does it take for the draw bat for the draw button to show up? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't even know if the editor noticed I say something in this part. Never give up, never back down, never. What? Look at that. We're actually winning. We won. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, my kid went to university during the course of this battle and came back. Match two, round one. First, we have an attack buff stripped into defense break and a fire damage dealer. So with double water and a light unit, the fire unit will hit the light unit, the dark unit will hit the light unit, so the double water unit will be free to do whatever the hell they want. So I have a healer here to make sure that my team will never die pretty much. And I have a damage dealer that can revenge and do fun things when they try to take down my light tank. Here we go. Round one, this one should be fairly easy. Like, it doesn't really matter what they do because even if they land defense break on my light tank it's gonna be a while before they actually do any real damage to him and now if i heal like this it is pretty much over but i'm gonna go straight for the dark unit first maybe land some debuff over there so that it can't really do anything and while this guy trying to hit my water unit none of his friends will actually help him oh whoa, 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 whoa. wait hold up <laughs> i didn't Oh no, I didn't think about the fact that the Aerial is going to get stunned and I couldn't heal my boy. But... <laughs> Manon being completely fair right now. Okay. Oh, look at Zen. He gave me free attack bar. Zen literally saved me. Look at that. He gave Aerial attack bar so I can heal her dam and we pretty much win from there. There's nothing they can do about this anymore. <laughs> Look at Zen being an absolute... Oh my god. <laughs> the double 15%, I think. Okay. Or oh, was it? Was it the 15%? Did he do any real damage to my Hodam? I can't really tell. Because that was the Zen... Oh, that was the Zen effect. That was not the mana effect. But still. Zen actually saved me. Be after trying to destroy me. So he slapped me in the face. And then he just kind of... Hold my hand and... And bring me up. It's kind of cute, right? He stunned the aerial. That could have really messed up my team. And he gave my aerial attack bar. That's why this guy is relevant in defense. Because he is so RNG. That you don't even know when he's going to really screw you over. Or when he's going to help you. And that's where people really like on defense. Because on offense, you would never use Zen ever. He's too RNG. But on defense... Because he is so unpredictable, he's really good. And because the defense break he can give, it's also random. It doesn't rely on any factor whatsoever. He may or may not give you defense break all the time. So that's why he is very popular. Because you want more RNG element on defense so that people can't really predict what is going to happen. And that will give you an edge on defense. But that's a sad thing. He awakened to resistance. If, he, if this guy awakens to speed, he's going to be one of the most popular, if not the most popular unit for arena and guild defense. And why are we taking like 20,000 years in this one? Round 2, because this is right now the Gemini Hero Hero Week. So we're going to flex the Gemini team once again with Kabila, Gemini, and Isabel. Round 2, we're going to go first. Fairly easy. We're going to land a strip defense break. Easily done as well. We're going to take care of the biggest threat, which is the Rakan. And then the second biggest threat is going to be the Miyang. And that is pretty much it. Even though you might lose with Gemini missing everything. But I would love to do this from time to time. Round 3, we have one of the most classic Iris defense ever. With the Ciara, Iris, and a Swift Raok. So when you team up in turn 1, this will provide AoE strip. And this unit will gain attack bar because of the skill 1 crit. And then you bomb them, you disperse stun them, it's all fun. But then there's much RNG involved. Round 3. We're going to go in with the focus on to the... Mef no, that's not Mephisto. What's his name again? Maximilian. Alright, going straight for Maximilian. Zero, zero strip. I mean, zero despair stun, but we got a strip. And we did some amazing additional damage with Artifact. I'm going to silence this. And I think that is GG. Or is it GG? 
Okay, big stun right there from Iris. The biggest thing about Iris is the every turn AoE potential despair stun that can happen, which is crazy. Okay, the moment that unit violent proc, it is all over for her. If she violent proc, beautiful. <laughs> I swear this is not pre-recorded, okay? This is a live battle, but it happens so often that I just know when it's gonna violent proc. Round four, we have a speed lead for the Draco to outspeed the enemy. We're gonna strip defense break. Whoever get defense broken, we get one shot by the Garo. Round four, we're gonna go first with the better speed lead. And then we get triple defense buff. If there's any way to influence Draco buff, he's gonna be so good. Okay, we got two defense break. Which one's gonna be scarier? Dominic? I think Dominic's gonna be scarier because the sniper will take one more turn doing the the thingy and then Dominic will actually potentially one shot one of my units. So we're gonna go straight for Dominic with skill two. Take care of Dominic. If we land the block buff, it's gonna be even more perfect because the the enemy the enemy Laura relied a lot on buffing. Okay, so Laura's coming in with the big old buff. A little bit too late though, but the stun is huge. Can she kill me? Do you guys think she can win me? I mean, she's the queen of additional damage. I mean, additional turn and damage at the same time. All right, we only land one debuff. That is kind of sad, unfortunately. But we don't have skill up, so that's understandable. We are going to take care of her. All right. Beautiful. Round five, we have the Ramagons once again, but this time I'm going to decide my own fate with Talasha instead of relying on them hitting my Ramagons. And we're going to have a finisher in the form of Arnold. Round five, perfect. I, I like that. I like that defense break, Fuki. Big damage. And then we are going for the... Who do I kill to win? I kind of want to kill the Vigor. We're going to kill Vigor. Wait, can I kill Vigor here? I don't know if I can kill Vigor, but... Hmm. I don't touch him yet, okay? We're going to do this to Ramagos. We're going to kill Vigor for sure with this one. <laughs> and then we heal. And that's GG because there's nothing he can do about it. But Fuki can be kind of crazy. We're going to heal my team even further. But the more you hit Fuki, the harder he's going to hit you in return as well. Because he's like a Ramagons but he can, he can do it every turn kind of thing. It's like a big damage deal at Ramagons, but he does it a lot, okay? So we need one more turn for the skill three. We're gonna have some some problem here because if he violent proc one more time, he could have killed my Ramagons right there. Because Fuki damage, I think, is also ignoring defense like Ramagons skill. Oh my God, that is so perfect. <laughs> Dark Siri, this is like throwing a train at someone. I'm about to isekai the Dark Siri right there, boom. <laughs> like a train coming straight at you like a Mr. Beast video. Beautiful. Finally, we're not getting kicked from World Gear Battle once again. All right, guys, that was very fun and exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and leave a like for my new LD toy. I, I really need new toy, guys. I really, really need new toy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.